Euoplocephalus tutus, meaning well-armored head, lived about 76 to 75 million years ago in what is now Alberta and Montana. This heavily built ankylosaur reached up to 7 meters in length and weighed around 2.5 tons. With a low barrel-shaped body, thick neck and short but powerful legs, it carried a full suit of armor, rows of bony plates and spikes running down its back, tall shoulder spines up to 15 centimeters long, and even movable bony eyelids for extra protection. Its flat triangular skull had complex air passages that may have warmed the air it breathed. Large horns jutted from the back of its head, but Euoplocephalus's greatest defense was its 20 kilogram tail club, made of fused bone and capable of crushing the limbs and ribs of predators like Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus. Feeding on low-growing plants such as ferns and early flowering species, it used its beak to strip vegetation and may have dug for roots with its forelimbs. Likely solitary, it roamed open woodlands alongside other herbivores like Parasaurolophus and Styracosaurus. Euoplocephalus was one of the toughest survivors of the late Cretaceous.